Hello everyone, I've done a really basic uh, experiment, like a test patch, to find out exactly what the squid axon is doing. I am sending it to this sequence. If you look on the panel of Mook Slicer, those sliders indicate the level of each step. Um, and I'm taking the Mux Lesser clock and sending it to the 4MS uh, quad clock so I can do multiplications of it. Because I, the first thing I discovered, well, let's turn up the volume. I have four triangle oscillators, which I tuned as close to unison as I could before I plugged them in. And they are each receiving one of the axon outputs and their volts per octave input. Now, output one is this oscillator and I have it panned hard left. Output four is this oscillator which I have panned hard to the right. So the one over on the left is the first one and the one hard to right is the last one and then these two are in the sort of in the middle and the first thing that I discovered why when why I need to multiply the clock is because this input only samples every fourth beat which means that there's a clock divider in there that is distributing or more like a sequential switch it fires this one then this one then this one then this one and then this one again only after four beats so you're gonna hear it it samples this one then it samples this one low middle low, middle, and each sample and hold is sampling from the previous one, and you can hear the pitch sort of smearing downwards because it's a property of an analog sample and hold. The voltage drops the longer the circuit tries to hold it. And then as each subsequent one samples a beat later from the previous one, by the time it gets to four, the pitch will have dropped a noticeable amount. Now let's crank this up to times two. grabbing a new value there and there. So we're hearing half of the steps of that sequence now, but it's still skipping the odd numbered ones. If I go up to, I have to skip the times three and go up to times four. Now we're hearing each step of that sequence. But the voltage drop is still, it's noticeable, very smeary. And I was kind of hoping that I could use this for a, a technique they call note hocketing, where you have a sequence running and or and the note is passed the next beat to another oscillator. But the way this thing works, I I don't think I can do that with this. It is interesting if I turn up the squid non-linear feedback the linear feedback 
because this is all positive voltage, over time it would tend to push the signal just up higher and higher. It just gets higher and higher each time around. Multiplying by eight. There's this is not quite as much voltage drop, but it's still I don't know. Turning up the nonlinear feedback makes it interesting. But anyway, okay, so there's what the squid axon is doing. It's an analog sequence generator rather than sending it deliberately sequenced voltages. I could send it an LFO or something and it would work yeah, kind of like the 8-bit cipher. Generating sequences from voltages. It, 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 that's useful. I think I might, though, move this into the spare case and put the neuron back in here because this is a kind of functionality that I won't have in my road rig. And since I have the cipher here, this kind of duplicates what the other module does in a way. Not exactly the same. Anyhow, I don't know if y'all found this interesting or not, but I felt it was informative enough to justify making another video. Uh, thanks for your patience in watching it. If you made it this far, I can recommend my Patreon and my band camp I encourage you to check them out and i thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time